where Mark Nijame is live for us on the phone, and Mark is a former lawyer for George and Cindy Anthony. Mark, can you hear us? I can. So, Mark, uh, what are your thoughts of uh, what is going on right now? Well, we I just uh, had a business trip here for the day, and we just landed a short while ago, and, of course, the, the, the phones were going crazy. Um, uh, since, since we've landed, I've spoken to uh, the FBI, the lead investigator, and the lead investigator of the Orange County Sheriff's Office, as well as Tim Miller. And I think I uh, you know, have a pretty good understanding that uh, you know, we, we all kind of became quite close during this whole uh, sad ordeal. And it, it seems like, and, and as I think most people know, I resigned from the case for some personal differences because I couldn't support the fact that um, anything to do with Casey and the fact that she might not have been involved with this. So, um, you know, it's a sad conclusion, and, and our blessings can only go out to the child and to, to so many people who have come to love this child, but at least I think, and, you know, it starts giving us some closure and it allows the prosecution, which needs to take place, to take place. And, um, and, and, and let the law enforcement and the investigators to, to you know, really finalize what seems pretty apparent here. And uh, once we get full confirmation on that, then they can go do the job that they need to do. Closely with Cindy and George for quite some time. Uh, just give us an idea of maybe what perhaps they're I'm, going I'm through. I'm sorry, you, could you repeat that? Absolutely, no problem yeah. at all. I know you've worked very closely with Cindy and George for, for quite some time there. Uh, this has been such a hard time for them and their lives. During your time with them, I mean, were you under the impression that they were kind of in denial the whole time? I mean, none of us, most of us can't relate to the pain that they've felt. But right, and nothing's been confirmed. I mean, right. it's important exactly. to note that uh, we don't have anything conclusive, although, you know, several sources believe that it could be killing. Yeah. Well, when I when I um, I spoke to John Allen, who's the uh, sergeant, who's the lead detective on this case, uh, he told me, and I think it was just a fabulous thing that he did in light of some of the criticism that was leveled his way. He um, uh, had learned he, that uh, George and Cindy were actually in California taking a flight back, and rather than letting them hear about this with a media break, uh, he uh, took it upon himself to call Cindy. He told me that she was quite gracious and appreciative of the call. And um, he wanted to intercept them before they heard it from other sources. So I know that was done, and I think it was a very compassionate and right thing for him to do. I've come to respect and admire him greatly throughout this case and the investigation. And, you know, as to the issue of denial, I mean, I think that my resignation pretty much spoke to it. I, I always thought that people have a right to believe what they believe they need to believe, but uh, I couldn't in any way, shape, or form support or endorse anything that had to do with a, a positive thing concerning Casey. I said, as I said in my resignation, I, I believe that Casey alone had the answers as to where we could find Kaylee, and sadly, it looks like um, you know, those words were in fact true. So, Mark, is it possible that if the Anthony family need you and they call on your services again, will you represent them? If I can help anybody in a time of need, of course we would. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, if there was a need, uh, then then we would we would be there for you know anybody who, who reaches out. We've done that for a career. Um, but you know I don't want to say yes or no. If, if there is a need, we would be happy to talk to anybody, particularly people who've gone through such a loss. You know I did my best to prepare them for the, the, the great probability that I thought that this day would at some point occur or would likely occur, and I don't know how well anybody can really do that for another, but you know, this is a time not for finger pointing and, and for people you know, saying that they were right or wrong. This is just really um, a, a sad day, but I think in some ways a necessary day so that the whole healing process can, can start. And now really it's a, a case with a, a sadly a deceased child, and there's a, a, a subject who's been arrested and a defendant I'm sorry, and, and the prosecution will ensue. So, Mark, if you had any advice that you would give to George and Cindy, what would that be? Um, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Uh, if you had any sorry. advice that you could give to George and Cindy Anthony, what would that be? Um, just to uh, stay, just just to stay spiritually focused. I think that's all they can do, and if in fact, um, when in fact. Um, these remains are deemed to be Kaylee's, then I think that 
they just need to find a, a real spiritual center and to get all the spiritual comfort that they can get because they've been battling very hard with everything in them to deny that this is what's occurred. Mark, and uh, it, so it's time to, to, to basically let go. A, uh, I, I'm not, I don't with anybody's particular religious beliefs our spiritual beliefs so there's time to let go and let God and I think it's time for them to let go sure now Mark you're a very high profile and successful attorney in our area what is your advice for Jose Baez at this point well um, you know he's got to do what he's got to do but you know this whole you know who, who knows if there's a certain karmic aspect to this whole thing I mean they were all over the place saying that you know the child was still with us and and sure enough with all the Many, many, many people have been involved in trying to find this this child. Um, you know, there's a. I think you can't overlook the certain irony to this, the karmic aspect to it. That uh, all of a sudden the meter reader, you know, finds this child. So uh, on the day after, there's this massive media campaign. So I think that um, somebody needs to really take a look at what's really going on and uh, counsel their clients as to what's really going on, and hopefully we can have some real closure to this whole thing. Hey, Mark, what did you make of uh, some of those sightings? For instance, the Florida Mall sighting, the sighting most recently, the reason that George and Cindy Anthony were out in California, the sighting in Newport Beach. What, what did you make of those when you heard about them? Well, uh, obviously, if I believed that Kaylee was still with us, um, then I might still be the attorney of record, but um, I, I needed to resign because I could not support um, what I believed to be um, something something was different than I believed it to be. So I had to do what what I had to do, and I had to live with myself. And there was no way, shape, or form that I could support anything about Casey, who I clearly believed had something to do with um, the child's passing. Now, Mark, we know that shortly after this news broke that Jose Baez actually went to the jail to speak to his client, Casey. And it's my understanding, Mike, you can speak more to this, but he only spent a short time there, maybe, what, 30 minutes? Yeah, well, it wasn't a long time at all, and then he left without saying anything anything to the media. What is it that uh, you would be telling your client if you were possibly, I mean, we know you're not, but if you were defending her? Well, with any client, I would say you tell the truth. It's time for the lies to end, and I can only help you if I know the truth. And for me to ever be surprised by a client who withholds information uh, is the worst thing that can happen to a client. At the end of the day, I'm going home, and they very well may not be. And 30 and minutes, that's, like, a, that's um, a short period of time uh, to talk. I would be beating my client up from, from morning till night to make sure that they started, if they hadn't been, to start being 100% truthful. Because uh, anything that's being said right now is always going to be, there's already credibility issues, and, and now how to overcome them is just an, almost an overwhelming task. Okay, Mark. Mark Niejame, um, former attorney for George and Cindy Anthony. We appreciate your time. Right, joining us live all the way from Puerto Rico. Thank